In this video, we will talk about Boolean data type in Python. In Python, Boolean is another important type. Boolean data type in Python supports only true and false. Just remember, we use an uppercase T and F for true and false. We can see the actual data type in Python by using the type method. For example, type of true, the result is BOOL which stands for boolean. In the same way, type of false is also BOOL which stands for boolean. In Python, boolean value true is internally represented as 1 and false value is internally represented as 0. Let us create a variable x and define and assign the value true. We will first find the type of the variable x. You can find the type of x is boolean. We can also print the value stored in variable x. Here in this case we get the value as true. Let us consider an example of a variable x which has a value 10 and variable y which has a value 20. Let us compare these two variables that is x and y and store the result in some variable z. So we have z equal to x greater than y. Let us carefully try to examine the types of variables x, y and z. So we will have print type of x print type of y and finally print type of z. Now once we execute the first statement that is print type of x has returned us an integer. So type of x variable is integer. The same way type of y variable is also an integer. But the type of variable z is a boolean. So here we are trying to evaluate an expression x greater than y. Value of x is 10 greater than y which is 20. So 10 greater than 20 is false. Therefore value false is assigned to variable z. And since true and false belongs to boolean type, we are having the type of z as BOOL. Let us print the value stored in z using the print statement. You can find that false is the value which is stored. Therefore, the type of z has returned a boolean. In this video, we will look at none data type available in Python. None means no value is associated with the variable in the memory. None is also an object in Python. Let us have a variable x equal to 10 where 10 is an integer and x reference the value 10 in the memory of type integer. Now let us assign x equal to none, where none is no value and now x does not point to any location in the memory. If x equal to 10, the function type of x returns int data type, whereas if x equal to none, now the type function of x will return none type. Let us now look at the working of the none data type in Python. Let us define a variable x and assign value 10. Let us use a print statement to print the value of x. As well as we will use print of type of x. Which gives the data type of x. Let us run this program. And you can find that we have 10 displayed through the print statement because x contains the value 10 as well as the type of x returned is int. In the same way suppose if we have x as none. Let us run this code. You will find that none is displayed through the print x statement as well as the type of x now is none type. You may be wondering where we encounter this none type. For example, let us consider variable x has value 10. We will use a print statement print of x. Let us execute this code and we get 10 as the display. 
The purpose of the print function is to print the value of the variable provided within parenthesis. In this case, the value of x. And print function will simply display the value. It will not return any value back to the program. But suppose if we use another variable y and assign the value print of x. And now let us print the value of y as well. You can observe that we have 10 displayed because we have a print function print of x and the value of x is 10. So therefore 10 is printed. But once this statement is executed, it doesn't return any value. But we are trying to assign the value returned to variable y. Since print function doesn't return any value, the value assigned to variable y will be none. Therefore, when we use a print statement print of y, we get the result as none. In Python, for any number of variables referencing or pointing to null, only one none object will be present in the memory. For example, let us consider x equal to none, y equal to none, as well as z equal to none. We will try to print the IDs of these variables. That is, print of ID of x, in the same way, print ID of y and print id of z. Let us execute these statements. You can observe that the ids of variables x, y, z which is pointing to none data type is returning the same reference or address. When a variable is assigned a none value, the variable will be available for destruction and the garbage collector destructs the object referenced by the variable.